If you're looking to increase your productivity, organization, and beat your daily overwhelm, but you don't know where to start, you're going to love Asana. Whether you're trying to organize your personal life or scale your business to the next level, Asana is the perfect solution. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step and how to use Asana and create a workflow that's going to save you a ton of time. So let's head into Asana and get started. On the top menu on the right hand side, click on the get started button. Ideally you want to enter your business email in if you have one and you plan on collaborating with a team. If not, just enter in any email. Asana will send you an email to verify your account. From there, click on sign up. Now you'll be given the option to try Asana Premium for free for 30 days or continue with the basic plan which is free. For this video, we're just going to go over the free basic plan, but you can always try the free premium plan later on if you want. So let's click on continue with basic. Then Asana will give you a few questions to answer so they can set up your work area. So go through these questions and answer them based on what you're using Asana for and your goals. Asana will also prompt you to make your first project. If you have a project you're working on, then enter in that name here, but let's just hit continue to get to the main dashboard. Let's start off by adding your name and profile picture. Go to the top menu and click on settings. From there, a menu will pop up. Start by entering your full name in. From there, you can click on add a profile picture. Now you don't have to add a picture but it's a nice way to customize your profile. From here, you can enter in anything else you want to customize and then hit save settings. Now Asana is the best tool for planning and managing team projects and tasks. Let's start off by adding a team. On the left hand menu, there is a team section. This is where all of your teams are displayed. To add a new team, click on the little plus icon right next to the word teams. A drop down menu will pop up and then click on new team. From there, you can enter in a team name. Once the team name is entered in, you'll need to add team members. Now this can be people that have Asana. Just type in the email and their profile will picture will show up. Or you can invite people without Asana. Just type in their email and a link will be sent to them, allowing them to sign up and be added to this team. One thing to note is as you add team members on this team, they will be displayed on the menu on the right here. One thing that you need to do is select team privacy setting. For the free version, you have to select membership by request, which is where members have to request to join the team. The premium version of Asana, you can make teams private or public to an organization. Since we're going over the free version today, you will select membership by request and then hit the create new team button at the bottom. From there, Asana will create a new team and take you directly into the team menu. Within the team menu, you can add new members by hitting add member. You can assign projects to the team by clicking on new project. We are going to get into projects in the next section and you can also use templates, which is a premium feature. You can write a team description on the right in the about us section and forms and goals are premium features that you can also try for free. The last two things you need to know about teams are messages. This feature allows a team to communicate with each other in their own chat. All you have to do is click on messages and then type the message you want into the text box. This message will be sent to all the team members and they will be notified that they have a new message. This is a great feature to eliminate sending excessive emails. The last feature is the calendar. The calendar is where you're going to be able to view all of your projects and tasks. Any projects or tasks with a due date that are assigned to this group will show up within the team calendar. Again, this is a great feature if you're working with a ton of deadlines on projects. Now let's go ahead and create your first project. From the home screen, go to the project section on the right and click on the plus icon that says create project. From there, you'll have three different options. You can create a new project from scratch with blank project or you can use a template and you can also import from a spreadsheet. So let's just stick with blank projects. So go ahead and click on that. Start off by entering the name of your project in. Enter the name in right in this text box. Then you can select what team you want your projects to go under. Then select the privacy. You can pick public, private to the team members or private to yourself. For this example, let's just start with keeping it public. Then select the default view for the project. And you have four different options you can preview on the right here. You have list view, board view, timeline view, and calendar view to pick from. Note that the timeline view is a premium feature. Once you create the project, you can toggle between views, but the default view is what you will automatically see each time you open the project. For example, let's select list view, and then once everything is set the way you want it, click on continue. From there, you can add tasks, share with teammates, and set up a workflow, which is a premium feature. Let's select start adding tasks, and then click on the go to project button. Now in Asana, we have to 
add sections and add tasks. So sections go within projects. You're going to want to think of sections of the project or sections of your workflow. To keep it simple, we will build a basic workflow. Click on the button that says add section and then type to do. Then click on add section again and then type doing and then click on section one more time and then type in done. Now it's time to fill in the project with tasks. Tasks go within each section of the project and can be dragged and dropped from section to section. Now you can see under each section, it says add task. If you wanna add a task in that part of the section, all you have to do is click on add task and then type the task in. Go ahead and brain dump all the tasks you need for this project. I'll fast forward and enter in all the tasks with this project. Now that all the tasks are in this project, you can do a few things. First, you can assign the tasks to a team member of the project. All you have to do is hover over the task and a small person icon will appear. Click on that and a drop down will appear with your team members. If someone doesn't have a sign up, you can click on the invite button and send an invitation for them to sign up and it will be sent via email. We all have due dates that we're working with, so hover over your project and you can see a calendar icon pop up. Click on that and a calendar will pop up. From there, you can click on what date that item is due. I'll go ahead and add due dates to a few of these tasks. And as you can see, all the due dates are neatly organized in the column. Now, once you decide to do a task, you can drag it by hovering over the task and clicking on the six dot icon. So clicking on that and then holding it and dropping it into whatever section you want. Now let's say that you've completed the task. You can make it complete by clicking on the check in the circle and it will turn green. In this case, you can move the task into the complete section. Within projects, you can customize the settings. For the first menu, you can click right on the project icon and then you can select the icon itself and change the color and icon shape. The next is the little arrow next to the project name. It gives you a ton of options when it comes to the project. You can copy the link to a project in the case that you want to share the project. You can also duplicate the project. At the bottom here, you can import and export the project and you can also move the project to another team. And then you have archive, which allows you to archive a project so it will not be displayed on Asana, but it's not completely deleted. So you can go view that project later on and you can also delete the project, eliminating it forever. Each project has a menu running across the top. So we're gonna run through each one. So click on the overview button. Now each project has a project overview. On the big section in the middle, you can type the project description Description. One cool hack here is when you go to type the description, you can type forward slash and it will bring up a menu where you can add bullet points, numbered lists, tag team members, or link tasks. From there, you can assign the project roles and add team members. So if you click on add members, a menu will pop up and you can type in anyone you want to add to this project. You can also invite members via email as well. So type the person's email in and then click invite. Below that are key resources. This is where you can do two things. One, create a project brief, which if you click on it, will take you to a blank document where you can type in all relevant information. Once you're done, hit done in the top right corner. And you can also add relevant links and files. So click on add links and files. From there, a dropdown will appear and you can select add a link. Now you can add any files from your computer or any files listed from those cloud storage services. The last part of this menu is the status section. This is where you can indicate if a project is on track, at risk, or off track. Just click on the one that applies. Once the project is complete, you can click on the three dots and select complete project. From there, you can also see the project due date or if the project has no due date, you can click here and assign one. Now here are the next four project views. So the list view, if you click on list, you can go back to the list view and we were working on that before. The second view is a board view, which is a Kanban view. And it is a little bit more visual than the list view. If you're not familiar with the Kanban, you basically start with tasks on one side of the board and move them to the other side or the complete column. In this view, you will have all the sections at the top. We have to do, doing, and done list there. You can also see the tasks displayed as cards. Now you can drag and drop these cards into different sections. And on the face of the card, it has the same functionality as lists. If you hover over the card, it has a green check mark. The person icon to assign a task to yourself or someone on the team. 
the calendar icon is to assign a due date to tasks. Now, if you click into the card, you can see all the details of the task. If you scroll down, you can add a description. One thing to note is that you can also add subtasks. So if you have a multi-step task, click on add subtasks and then type those in. If you click off the card, going back into the main board view, you can see the number of subtasks has been displayed on the front of the card. If you need to add any additional sections to this project, all you have to do is click on add section and on the right, type in the name of the new section you want to add. Now the third view is the timeline view and the timeline view is a premium feature. So we'll skip over that. The fourth view is the calendar view. This view is similar to the one I showed before. This will display all the due dates that are associated with this project. So if you have tasks or things that need to be done or completed by a certain date, they will be displayed here. You can also add tasks directly from the calendar view. So click on the date that you want to add a task. From there, you can see a little plus icon and the add task button will appear. Click on that and then type in the new task. Once it's added, you can hover over it and then add a member. One thing that you can do with the calendar is toggle the weekend on and off, depending on how you wanna view the calendar. You can also filter your calendar if you want to see certain items. So click on the filter button and now you can pick from incomplete task, complete task, and just my tasks. You can also add a filter and filter everything by assignee to see who's working on what. The calendar view is one of the most effective views when working with deadlines. The next two views are workflow and dashboard. Unfortunately, these are both premium features and I'll cover that in a full length Asana tutorial and I'll link that in the card above and the description below. Now you can also send messages with anyone assigned to this project, similar to what I explained before with messaging. Just type in the message into the text box and everyone that is assigned to this project will be notified that there is a new message for them. This cuts down on unnecessary emails and can save you a ton of time if used right. The last section of this project is files. Any files that are relevant to this project can be added here. These could be pictures, PDF, Excel documents, pretty much any files you can add that's under 100 megabytes. If you need to add larger files, then I would utilize Google Drive or Dropbox. The next feature in Asana is My Tab. This is where everything assigned to you goes. Now, if you go back to the homepage, you can see the My Tasks button. So click on My Tasks on the left menu and all of your tasks will show up. Let's start on Lists. So click on Lists and you can see all of your tasks broken down into Recently Assigned, Due Today, Due Next Week, and do later. This is a great way to see everything you have to do at a glance, but you won't be overwhelmed because everything will be prioritized in terms of what you have to do next. Again, these tasks are pulled from all the projects on all the boards that are assigned to you. Now you can see all the due dates and then what projects these tasks fall under. You can also add tasks from this view by clicking on add tasks or add a section as well by clicking on the drop down arrow and selecting add section. The next view is a board view. We have the Kanban board with all of our tasks where your sections are now vertically displayed as lists. You can drag and drop tasks from one list to another if you want. And you can also click directly on a task and fully customize it. This is a great view if you're a very visual person and like to drag and drop items. The next view is the calendar view and this is where all of your tasks will show up. Unlike the other calendars that only display what is going on with your team or projects that are due, this calendar will display everything all in one place. The last option is files. Now all attachments to tasks and messages in this project will appear here. This is like the one-stop shop for any files you need for projects or relevant materials. As you add more files, you can also organize them within this menu. This is a great option if you're looking for something specific and you can't remember what task or project it's in. Now the last section is the inbox and homepage. The next feature in Asana is your inbox. And this is like the main messaging center of the app. This is where you can send and receive all your messages through all of your projects and teams. I like that everything is all central in one place and then you can archive messages for future reference if needed. You can also use the filter button right on the top here to quickly locate previous conversations that you need for reference. To send a new message, click on the send message button. From there, you can send a message to a team, a project, or an individual. Select who you want to send it to and then type your message in and hit the send button on the bottom right corner. This is basically 
literally everything you can do within the inbox. And now last but not least, the homepage. There are four main areas when you start off with Asana. There is a small dashboard for my tasks, projects, what I've assigned to people. This is a perfect view if you need to look at your business at a glance. You can also add new tasks by clicking create task. You can create new projects by clicking create project and you can invite new people by clicking invite. Ultimately, this is gonna give you some really good metrics and data and a quick overview of your business at a glance. So each day you can quickly open Asana and see everything you have to do for the day neatly organized. I hope you can see how effective Asana is for organizing and managing your business. If you wanna deep dive further into Asana, I have a full walkthrough video where I go through almost every feature and function. I also have an Asana playlist that will cover the best features to help you save time and organize your business. So make sure you check these out. And until next time, stay productive.